Okay, I'm going to show you how to avoid the uh, garbled text issue when you download Helix firmware. This is the 254 version, uh, and if you click the Get Download button, it takes you to the license agreement. And then uh, if you scroll down here and click the Accept and Download, this is what happens to a lot of people. It gives you that. Uh, and then sometimes it'll give you a whole bunch of other text here uh, and you can't download it. So you can download HX Edit and just use the updater or download Line 6 updater and go that way. I prefer to have the local file and then use the updater in offline mode just so I have a backup of the firmware file. Uh, so the way you can get around that, let me go back. All right, so when you're here, uh, click the Get Download. Now, when you're here, right after clicking Accept and Download, uh, come up to the top and click the Stop button. So if I click Accept and Download, and then here I click Stop on this screen, before the next one flashes up, uh, it says right here, if your download does not start, click here. So I'm going to right-click that and say save link as and it will pop up and ask me to save the HXF file so I'm not going to save it, I already have the 254 um, bundle saved so and this is the LT version anyway of the floor but it's just to show you how you can um, get the file to download even when your browser is trying to open it. I don't know why I guess, it, I guess the HXF is a, a known file format for web browsers and it tries to open it. Um, so you, you have to force it to download instead of trying to open it. So again, you click accept and download and then as soon as the next screen comes up, click stop. Click the web browser stop button. And then you're left on this screen. And then you just right click the here link and uh, choose um, save link as and it will let you download it. Uh, all right, that's it.